What up boys and girls, welcome to the vlog. Uh, we just got done at the camera museum in Shanghai. It was free admittance, it was amazing. I thought it was actually really cool. I've never seen so many old cameras. Now that I'm into vlogging, cameras kind of are becoming more and more interesting to me. So seeing the old ones was really nice. Um, it was all really laid out really nice too. Like it was, it wasn't some like crappy thrown together like free museum. Like it was like nice glass cases, like um, security guard and they had like they had a very pretty extensive collection of cameras. Ah, we're making a quick little detour to the Shanghai Library. Um, it looks pretty massive. It's huge actually. Um, maybe it's like the uh, what is it, the Jefferson Library or the Washington Library? The Kennedy Library? I don't know what it's called in DC. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check it out real quick, see what, it, see what it's like inside. Maybe we'll see some interesting stuff. I will uh, I'll pick up the vlog when I get inside. Um, obviously not gonna be able to talk really, I'm guessing. Um, but I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So the Shanghai Library was a bus for sure. Uh, we couldn't go inside and see any of the books without a library card and they were a 100 RMB deposit. Um, so we didn't do much there besides walk in and walk out, but <clears throat> they did have a Starbucks so we picked up some Starbs. Um, right now we are on the way to the Propaganda Museum. Um, we're in a kind of a cute little quaint little town here. Um, it's all like stucco, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of cute. Um, so I will check in with you guys when we get there. just made it <clears throat> to what we think is the propaganda center. It's in like an apartment building complex, I guess, in like one of the basements. So we are almost there. So hopefully it's really cool. I heard it was really cool. I th it's interesting they have like a sign out front. I thought it was like all hush hush. Like they don't want people to know. Maybe they just put it out there for tourists. Um, Cause I don't think, I, I don't think it's very, I don't think the government really likes it. Cause it's, it's all about like the, all the like, like propaganda and all the like negative connotations of the government. Um, so we're on the way now. Like I said, it's like in an apartment complex, so there's like people living all around us. What up guys, so we just left the Propaganda Museum. It was um, very, very interesting, it was very cool. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Um, it was very, like it was very like hush hush um, because they didn't say on the signs like advertising it. They were completely in English and they only said um, like Propaganda Museum. It didn't specify, it was like, like uh, periods of um, government control or anything like that. Um, so they had um, every like every couple years, I guess, like the theme of the propaganda changed depending on like what was going on. You really weren't supposed to uh, take any pictures or film, but I tried to get a few little shots here and there um, just of uh, what it looked like. Um, so it was really cool. It was definitely amazing. I think we're gonna go back, and they had uh, like a little 
little gift shop. I think we're gonna go back and get a um, get a poster. I might get a poster. Um, but yeah, they had some really crazy like anti-U.S. during like I don't even know. It must have been like around the Korean War um, when the U.S. was like really anti like communism. Um, so they had a lot of like really bad anti-U.S. like. Uh, propaganda and then when Nixon first visited uh, China is when they stopped doing it so the, you see in the museum where it's all anti-US and then all of a sudden it stops and uh, they're like pro-US right around the town, time when Mao was in power um, but it was definitely cool I definitely recommend going if you're in Shanghai it was definitely something to see uh, right now we are headed to go get some grilled cheese I'm being observed. Uh, we're going to get some grilled cheese and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. So we finished up at the grilled cheese place. It was just as good as the first time. Uh, people enjoyed, or enjoyed like a few drinks. They had uh, Bloody Caesars, uh, cocoa, pebble, like Kahlua drinks, and uh, gin and juice. Um, I didn't have anything, but I will eventually. It was very good. Right now we're headed to the Harley Davidson of Shanghai. We thought that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I am really into motorcycles, so I thought it'd be cool. Maybe see what one goes for here in China. Um, but it looks like they have more than just like a dealership. It looks like they kind of have some like Chinese collectibles of Harley or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it's not that far away, so um, we figured we'd make the make the uh, trip out here. So we just discovered there is a Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini dealership right by Maserati, the Harley. Rolls Royce, and, and Maserati, Mercedes. Rolls Royce, and Mercedes. Show, so show the we're going to check it out real quick. Figure this is definitely worth the uh, trip. We stopped by a Porsche dealership um, earlier when we first got here. Oh man, there's already a Rolls Royce and a Ferrari right there. Oh man, this is going to be fun. got done at the Milan Club, the, uh, like the million, the, yeah, the millionaire club, yeah, the, uh, Maserati, Mercedes, Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce dealer, and, um, it was, it was, it was something else. 